Hello and welcome back to our survival let's play on No Man's Land for episode 119. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different in the fact that I was going to skip right over August because in a sense there isn't that much to do but the more I've looked at it there is quite a lot to do. Um, the first thing being and the main thing that stopped us from doing what I was going to do is we've hit a pallet limit. So I brought these up, so I haven't brought them up. I brought these up. I brought these up. We're gonna get these put into production and try to reduce that pallet limit. Um, at some point, we're gonna have to get them planks as well. In fact, I could just lift them. Do you know what I might do? I might just take them straight over to there. Um, to make furniture with. Right, these can be shared out between here. I'll put the two lots. Don't go on. I'll put two lots in here. How many eggs we got in there? Um. Yeah, we'll put another lot in there and then we'll put... In fact, I think I've got quite a lot already in the other one because it's not... It's not producing as much um, in the small bakery because we can't keep it filled with flour, can we? So we'll put another lot in there. I mean, you can see all the pallets we've got stacked up. They're just... Oh, that can get stuck as well. No. Brilliant. Right. And I think I've got some chocolate that can go in. In here as well. There we go. I thought that was going to say it was full for eggs. I'd have been very doubtful. In fact, we can now put that in there as well. Fantastic. Right. Even better. So all that spawning, I think we've just had some more bread spawn over there. Um, I'm just going to load the bread up on here actually, I'll just sell it. As long as well as some of this flour. I mean, we discussed in one of the other episodes, didn't we, that the flour, it's going to be, it's going to end up being a bit of a pointless exercise. Like, we were never going to sell the flour, it was always just to make different products, but because of the way it's worked out, we've produced too much of it basically. And we now haven't got the capacity to keep all of it. So if we sell that much of that, and then we'll spin around here, pick up I might sell that bit of furniture as well, actually. Um, no, we'll just keep that. We will load the bread up, though. Yeah, what I intend to do after this is maybe do a time lapse. Only a short one, but a time lapse of the jobs that we've got going for today and, and there's only really two jobs that we need to do we need to do a little bit of weeding and a little bit of fertilizing and after that we can move into september so what i was thinking is if we get them done on a time lapse we can go straight into september where there'll be more to do let's get rid of this there we go Right, so, a bit of variety of what we're going to sell here. I have no idea what we're going to get for it. I have no idea what the prices are at the minute. Right, away it goes. So we already look now, right, to be fair. I mean, them strawberries take ages, don't they? Oh, 
There we go. 17,018, just under 19,000. Which I'm not uh, disappointed by at all, really. I'm just going to see if anything else has spawned around here. And then, like I said, I think we'll get into a bit of a time lapse. Yeah, just loads more flour. Um, oh, is that soon? Too many parts yet. No, it's not. I could do with stopping that production, to be honest. I already have. Oh, that must have. It must have already been built up. Yes, yeah, so we're not going to get any more flour until we start the production again. Should have done that ages ago. I didn't even think about it. I think it was just when we were off camera after the last episode. I stopped it because I stopped it over at the bakery as well, just to see if that would make any sort of difference. Okay. So that's sorted. The thing that we're going to do is we need to weed and fertilise around this area, um, and also the grass over here. Um. Like I said, I don't intend to take up the whole episode just by doing that. So we're going to put a time lapse on, getting them done, uh, only a short one, and then we'll move into September, I think. So I'll not belong. could say this is where the video starts proper um what came before there have been a time lapse i think from what i remember there was some sort i think i introduced the video and said that i'll be coming into september would we'll just be time lapsing through september the reason for that is it's been days since i've been on no man's land um for the reason that attingham park's been released and i've been well do well while i'm talking i'll go and get into the combine um I've been setting the map up for that. Um, I think I'm something like I'm over 20 hours in to adding him. Just setting the map up. I can't even remember what's in there. We are going to go and the barley. Yeah. So we'll take the twin screw over, but yeah, for the. Um, for people that have followed the channel since 19, we have a roleplay series on Attingham Park. Um, car, am I going to... This is quite wide, this. Um, I might get around there. Um, called My Farm and Life. And I knew, obviously, because I think the, the mod put out that the map was going to come back to 22. Uh, I said at the time when 19 finished, we just sort of put the series on hold um, to restart it again once 22 came out, and that's what we've been waiting for basically. I mean, what we've been the game's been out since November, so we've been waiting nine, ten months. Um, I'll that. Yeah, nine or ten months. For it to come out, I need to make sure this sun swath drop in. I don't actually, I don't really need the the straw, but I'm sure. Um, oh, it's already on. Is it working? Yeah. So yeah, we've just been waiting for the map to come out, um, so we can carry on with the series. But there's so much work to do. On getting the map ready for how it was at the end of 19 that it's just like I said I think I'm over 20 hours already um, and it's I'm still not ready it's not far off now but it's not ready and then you've obviously got the writing of the story and everything to go along with it as well 
I'm really excited about it, to be honest. Um, it's something I, re I enjoyed doing last time. I probably won't put as many videos a week out on for the roleplay. Sometimes I was putting sort of like three or four videos out a week, especially towards the beginning. But I'll either, it'll be one or two per week. Probably only one, but some weeks we might get two out. Because it takes, that roleplay series takes so long. Each episode takes so long to um, to do, to record, to edit, all of it. It's just, uh, yeah, it's really labour intensive. So, we're going to be back on that soon. I don't know what the first episode will be out, because like I said, the, um, the actual map isn't finished yet. Um, there's some little bits I need to do on it. But yeah, that's why basically I haven't been um, I haven't been on this map for quite a while. I recorded, I think I recorded all the stuff beforehand. Whatever's come before this, I recorded before adding them come out. And then it, it sort of hit work days, and then Attingham came out, and I just went straight on there, and it's just been it's been a busy time. The other thing as well, regarding videos, um, for whatever reason, YouTube has gone back to taking days and days to process a video. So, even as I sit here now, it's, um, was it Sunday the 4th? So, Sunday the 4th, September, uh, I've got a video which should have went out last night, a Westbridge video. Um, and I uploaded that. Let's have a look. See when I uploaded it. So that was uploaded four days ago. Um, no, I'm going a bit off here because I'm, <laughs> I'm on my laptop as well. So I uploaded that video four days ago and it still hasn't processed into HD and 4K. I mean, that is crazy. So that should have been out last night. I kept it off to try to give it another 24 hours. Um, three hours away from the time I normally post, which is six o'clock in the evening, and it's still not done. I will be putting it out tonight, regardless. Um, but it's just I don't know why it's doing that. It goes through. I mean, sometimes it can be done within a couple of hours, and then you get times like this where it's four hours later, and we're still struggling. So I don't know what's happening with that. I'm hoping, if I can get a shifty on, I'm hoping to get either two episodes of this recorded today or an episode of this and to get Attingham set up and start recording on that. I already know what's happening in the first episode so that's relatively straightforward. But like I said, it just it takes a long time to do. To do each each one um, it's kind of getting back to this map first time using the twin screw on 22 I'm liking it it's just as good as what I can remember we haven't got the extension on um, I can't remember what what we had 60% are we going to be about 14 14 and a half percent something like oh my god uh, right let's come back to the JCB didn't we have didn't that come up just over 14 14,000 litres capacity I know it came up in Westbridge I'm sure at some point a fast track's come up in this series as well I'm almost certain it has and we didn't go and get it. Uh, um, 220 horsepower, but we're going to have to pay for the extra. What's the power of the McCormick? It's like got another 44 horsepower. We may have to investigate that further. <laughs> what else is on there? Use machinery. Nothing really. 
cotton and the fertiliser we don't need. The GSCB though Yeah, I want that. I mean, for those who watch regular, you'll know it. The fast tracks are just the my favourite, absolute favourite. So any time they come up, I'll want them. Um, but sometimes they're just not always... I don't have a need for them. And really... I don't have a need for it now. What I might need to do is check the equipment we're using and see what um, if there's any equipment that goes over 220 horsepower that we normally use the McCormick for. If there is, then we can't get it um, because we would have to sell the McCormick because there's no, we wouldn't need both tractors. We've got the Staya, we've got the John Deere. There'd be no point in having the fast track. If we didn't have, if we didn't have the truck, then possibly, because we could have used the fast track to cart stuff like we use the truck for now. But we do have the truck. Right get that out. I'll um I'll jump, I'll go over and get the truck and we'll be right back. Almost there, fourteen thousand litres unloaded into the truck. Um obviously we're not gonna get where are we? What's the capacity of the truck? I don't think it's as high as twenty eight thousand is it? Can't remember now. Um, it's a miscellaneous, isn't it? Yeah, 21,000. So we're not going to get a full load in. I don't know how much more we'll get off it. I'd like the extension less. The only thing is, I think with our fields, I'm not 100% sure that we're going to need it. Everything's pretty much close together and nothing's that much of a pain to get to. There's no harm in just having a truck or one of the trailers nearby. And it's a lot of money. Isn't it about 40 grand to get the extension? And I'm not sure that for this particular map it'll be worth getting I wonder if our olives are ready this um will it shows? No. They've got another month. In fact there's a next month it looks like there's a few fields gonna be ready. We do, however, need to put sugar beet in that right in front of us, over the top of our grass field. We've got a small sugar beet um field, haven't we? We need to plant that at some point during September. And there's something price wise one of our one of our products peaks in September it's possibly the cakes so we'll have to go and sell them the productions because I whizzed through August the productions are going to need some sort of TLC for them they definitely will need milk they'll probably need eggs as well I would have thought and then you've got the generic issues that we have with um, flour in the bakery where it'll only take up to a thousand litres at a time and sugar in the um, in the all-in-one production where that only takes a thousand litres I'd start spitting it out again so they'll definitely need some work doing to them None of our oils will be ready to sell. One of them does sell in November. I can't remember which one it is, though. 
it's either the canola or the sunflower it sells in November so that'll be coming up and we also which I've been saying for months need to cut them trees down well need to cut any trees down to get some wood into our um, sawmill because we're not producing pallets anymore which as we've shown previously can be a massive source of income right I'm gonna I mean there isn't much left it'll, but it'll save us probably a couple of minutes on recording I'm just gonna jump towards the end um, we'll probably have to fill that trailer and then there'll be some left in the combine but it'll just it'll save a couple of minutes off the video like I said it wouldn't have been long but given that our videos have been really long lately um, one of them as long as nearly an hour I thought you might as well just jump across and we haven't had to empty this as well I thought we'd have had to ah I tell you what I was thinking we wouldn't get it all in the truck would we that there would be some left in the combine that is what I was thinking Um, we're going to have to look at the productions after we probably need to feed some of the cows as, no, not just the cows, sorry, the animals as well I was thinking of the cows because of the um, I know we absolute desperate for milk so we'll have to have a look at them as well We paid extra for this long pipe, didn't we? I remember. I mean, we bought it a few months ago. We just haven't had a chance to use it. Um, I know there's still still going to be some left in here. Which I don't mind. I'll just empty whatever left off camera. I'm not going to come back. Just empty a few thousand litres. Just get that evened out towards the back. There we go. Right, I'll get that switched off for now. So, nearly 22,000 litres. Was there about 6,000 litres left in the combine? Oh, did I see that number before it started emptying? If we say somewhere between 4 and 6, that'll be pretty much right won't it so 25 to maybe 20,000 27,000 litres took off that field which I don't think is bad and this is purely to keep our chickens going I mean that chicken coop what you can see just next to the BGA is great because it takes like 9,000 litres the other one however is an absolute pain you have to fill it up every single day and I want the McCormick done you have to fill it up every single day and it just it takes next to nothing which means you're not producing eggs because it runs out really quickly it's just such a pain to work with in fact I don't want the McCormick what am I doing I don't want the McCormick I want this I want this because I want the tanker and then we're going to transport as much milk up to our productions as we can. I don't think... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think the calves in our original um, enclosed cow barn producing milk yet no they're not how old are them now five months so we're getting there right we should have a decent amount of milk in here because it's been a while since we um since we took any of it so I'm thinking 
it'll be somewhere between eight and ten thousand liters. Ten thousand liters. Love it. Just nip over here. I want to put a road through here. Don't I? I was on about that before. So we've got soybeans in these fields. Um, they're not doing anything. They're literally when they when they're done, ready, they're going to be sold. We've got corn in them ones. Obviously, we've got olives in the fields next to them. Um, I think the corn as well. Unless we can find some sort of production for the corn, I think that'll just be getting sold straight off as well. These productions are going to be a bit of a mess, I know they are. Just because the way we've rattled through... Um, rattled through August, so they need milk carry on going. That is missing flour because you can only put a thousand. That's so annoying that, you know. Um, we've got no butter. That's missing milk. Has this got any milk? That's also missing milk for chocolate and cakes. So, have we got anything produced? No, just some flour. And we know that's missing wood over there. So yeah, milk is um, in high demand. But we knew that. That's why we we spent the money on on more cows, and we we spent quite a bit of money as well, didn't we? We'll put sort of a third of it. There we go. In that one. In the same here. Help if I was pressing the right button. Um, and the rest in here for the butter. Excellent. So all of them should be ticking away again. Let's have a look. I think it might have been cakes. That was... Um, that peaked at this sort of time. There was only one. No, it wasn't. What on earth? Peaked now then. I mean, what are we in? September. 3 5. Do you know what? I might just go and sell them. They're high anyway. I think I might just go and sell them, you know. Um. That's not, that's not, that's not, I can't even think what it was, clothes, nope, April, that's really annoying that I can't think what it was. Right, let's, um, what is it we're going to sell? Where's the cakes one that I'm going to have to go down, get a trailer, and we'll come back up with, um, with that, and we'll get some products sold, I think. We've collected the flatbed trailer. We've got, uh, 2,500 litres of lettuce, 3,000 litres of strawberries, and we've got a couple of, um, pallets of eggs those eggs aren't going to be sold though they're going to be distributed to the to the um, different productions I just need to make sure that they don't go through there there you go and then we'll get the uh, what are we selling the cakes we selling isn't it we'll get them loaded up right so these have eggs they have 5,000 litres worth not bad. These have two and a half thousand litres worth. 
and they have 3,000 litres worth, so we'll put both pallets into the donuts. I mean, the problem with the, um, like I said, they've got plenty because they run out of flour constantly and that runs out of sugar constantly. Cakes on there. It's got strawberries. They've got whoa, 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 whoa. They've got eggs. They've got milk. They've got sugar. They've got flour. Don't understand. Let's have a quick look. Um, butter. Got any butter ready? Do you know what? when I can actually produce enough of what I need? I mean, money's going to be pretty much endless for us, isn't it? It's just it's keeping everything going, which is the real trick. And there's certain things that are just it's impossible to do. I say impossible, it's not impossible to do, it's just really difficult. I think because we've got, we've sort of laid the foundations with our, um, with paying the money for the extra cows, we are going to have plenty of milk coming in. If I can sort our life out with these, um, our lives out with the new lots of chickens, we'll have plenty of eggs coming in, it's just, I think. I was a little bit late in recognising that. And that's put us back a little bit because we're constantly running out of certain items. How much butter do they need? They need the next pallet of butter as well. Go on, each move that. Um, I could set that all, this all in one production going with butter can that if it's not already it's not right let's set that away and then at least the cakes will be starting again oh my god oh my god oh my god I think it was the farm shop we taken these to. I'll have to check. Uh, and just for extra. Go down to Kirks, 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 there we go. Yeah, farm shop, 3,550, which I don't mind at all. That is the top price. I know if we waited a couple of months, we might got a bit more, but I mean, this is as high as we're getting anywhere. So I'm more than happy to sell at this price, 4,000, 4,400, and it was 3,500 per thousand litres. So we're going to get a decent whack off it. It's what we like to say, the money absolutely racing up. I mean, we know the strawberries going to take a while to sell. You always do, don't I? Right. 18,500 and nearly two. 
20 grand. I don't mind that at all. I do not mind that whatsoever. Right. How long have I been recording? I think I've probably been recording for quite a while, haven't I? What I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly go off camera. I'm going to check to see what our horsepower requirements are. And then we're going to make a decision on the fast track. Right, we had a look through. We can't get the fast track. Um, there's only one bit of kit that's going to leave us short on. But it's a really important one. It was the forage wagon. It's going to leave us short on horsepower on that. And... I mean, you know, that chocolate can go. Um, it's not, even with the McCormack, which is uh, which has more horsepower than required, it's still not quick. When it's full, it's really, really heavy. So it was a no-go, really. We were underpowered by about 20 horsepower. And like I said, it's not exactly a fast job. Um, anyway, so... It's a shame because it was a special edition fast track as well, so it was it's black. I'll show in fact I'll show you. I know I'm not getting it, so Yeah. I've never had that. And then you can put the not that one. You can put the British the Union Jack um stickers on there as well. Which I thought was quite nice. But like I said, it's underpowered. And we haven't got the, the spare cash just to buy outright and plus even if we did, would be one tractor too many. Regardless, so we'll just have to wait for a more powerful one, unfortunately. Um, but we are going to leave it there. I'm hoping that this video wasn't massively long. What I'm going to do is, for the second video to accompany in this, so the, the second video for the month of September, I'm just going to start in um, this in-game day, and then we'll carry on from there because it's pointless just wasting the rest of the day we'll get as much done as we need to and then if we need to just skip through the second half of september we'll do that but for now thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again in the next one